Hello and welcome to The View's Kitchen. On today's Help Wednesday, we're gonna be going over basics for salsa verde. We're gonna be making boiled, fresh, and roasted salsa verde. Now let's go over ingredients. Before you get started with your salsas, you wanna peel your tomatillo. Just like that. And you wanna make sure you rinse them uh, well because there's dirt and there's also a sticky residue, okay? So make sure that you rinse right after you peel them. For your boiled salsa, you're gonna need some fresh cilantro, tomatillo, your choice of spicy pepper, serrano or jalapeno, and if you really like spice, you can keep both, onion, salt to taste, lime juice, or lemon juice. It's gonna be up to you. For your boiled salsa, you want to include your onion, your tomatillos, and your jalapeno or your serrano, and you want to continue to boil until they're completely soft. Our ingredients for our boiled salsa are nice and soft. Now it's time to blend. I have our tomatillos and our jalapeno, and I'm just going to blend so that we have a little bit more room for the remaining ingredients. Ooh, ooh, ooh. your cilantro, your onions. These are all boiled. All boiled. Except for the cilantro. <laughs> keep that fresh, <laughs> keep that fresh. Add your salt. And your citrus. Now blend until smooth. And boom, done, we have our salsa. Nice, fresh, boiled salsa. You can use a Ninja Chopper, a Nutribullet, a blender, whatever you prefer to use. And at this moment, you're gonna taste it for the citrus and for the salt. Remember, if it's really spicy, it tends to fade off quickly when you have the roasted and the boiled salsas. Now say it with me, friends. Boom, done. I was gonna say, mmm. Mm. <laughs> For your fresh salsa verde, you're gonna need some fresh cilantro, tomatillo, a little bit of onion, and it's gonna be to taste, and your choice of spicy pepper. And since it is fresh, you're gonna keep all that spice to a certain level, so you'll have to be careful with that. Salt and citrus, you can pick lemon or lime juice, it's gonna be up to you. For our fresh salsa, you're gonna add your tomatillos, And I'm only gonna be using half of this serrano because I have the little ones that are gonna be enjoying this salsa. But if you guys like spice, go ahead and add the whole pepper. Add your onion, your citrus juice, your salt. And I'm gonna press this down just a bit so it has room for our, for our uh, cilantro. Up your engines. Start your engines. <laughs> Make some room for your cilantro. And you can use this in a blender and a ninja chopper. Whatever you have to blend, it'll work with, with that, okay? Apparently, I love this little ninja chopper. And now we're gonna blend, blend, blend. And boom, done, you have a fresh salsa. At this moment, you wanna taste your citrus, you wanna taste your salt and adjust. And remember, these do require a little bit more salt because tom tomatillos tend to be a little bit more tart. Uh, so just adjust to your palate, but I give you guys a starter recipe. Make sure you look in the description for all the details. And boom, done, fresh salsa verde. And the bubbles will settle right once 
the salsa settles in? Yep, once it settles in, you're gonna get more of that color right there. And that just means it's really fresh. You just blended it. That vibrant green. You just woke all these flavors and married them together. Good morning. <laughs> For our roasted salsa, you'll need fresh cilantro, tomatillo, onion, garlic, your choice of spicy peppers, and for the roasted one, we're gonna roast both of them. Lime or lemon juice, and salt to taste. For your roasted salsa, you wanna place your tomatillos, your onion, your garlic, and your peppers, and we wanna roast them until they're completely charred. And this is gonna take us eight to 10 minutes, okay? You're gonna see that some of your tomatillos start gushing out, and if you see some that are completely roasted, we're gonna start taking them off the pan. It's been about four minutes, and I'm gonna start just turning our tomatillo and the rest of our ingredients, just so that we can get a good roast all around. And it's gonna be your choice for the garlic if you wanna remove the peel or keep it. I like to keep it because it gives you more of a thicker sauce. And if you notice, I chopped up the to, um, tomatoes. <laughs> but can you add tomatoes to this? That's for a different edition of salsa. Why are you getting ahead of us, Cloud? Because our friends had a question about the tomatillo and tomato together. That, that's, those salsas will be coming up right now. We're doing basics. Okay, you guys, okay, be you guys patient. got me in trouble. Be patient, friends. And as I was saying, if you notice, I chopped up the onion into pieces just so that we have more roasted bits. And that gives it such a beautiful aesthetic to our roasted salsa. Aren't you a clever one? Yep. I try to be. <laughs> okay, we're gonna continue to roast. When your roasted salsa verde ingredients look like this, that means that we are ready to blend, friends. Look at that, they're nice and juicy. Roasted, soft, delicious, yummy. One of them busted because we were too busy talking and saying how much we love you guys and how positive you all are. And we're just very grateful to have you all as friends and to be part of our everyday lives. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. You hear, you know, I used to hear people say the YouTubers say that all the time, but it really is. We, we establish a connection. We transmit energy to each other and it's good to know that you feel good joining us here on our channel, that you have all grown. The Views Club. I love that sound. Oh, I'm so close to you. <laughs> <laughs> Add your cilantro, your salt, and you'll notice your roasted salsa does require a little bit more salt. your citrus juice. Now we blend until smooth. Oh, how about that? I have a design on my nail. Cute. Cilantro nails brought to you by Yeah, Yup, that's what I'm gonna do. If I ever get my nails done, I'm gonna have a, cilant a fresh cilantro on there for you guys. Could this be love? Oh yeah. This is love. Ow! <laughs> As always, Views Club and Battle Notification Squad, Claude and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!